Sprinkles, it's time to welcome you back to Crypto's Juiciest News. As your friend, I have been keeping you bullish the whole time. The most important news besides Bitcoin being at $62,000 is the US jobs data or data came out positive. The unemployment rate dropped. And do you want to do you want to know why I was keeping you bullish the whole time, friends? That's right. That's exactly what friends do. Look at that green emoji we have. Bitcoin here at sixty-two thousand dollars. We're gonna go right into it, friends, because Bitcoin has now slowly started to push up. Do you remember this twenty-one EMA when we were down here? We had the six false signals. <laughs> I came back to ping it one last time. I want to remind you exactly one year ago the candle for the 21 EMA and September candle was here for the weekly. And then look at this first with October. Then we go pop. We just started popping up big time. I wonder if something spooky like that just happens again and we get to see it repeat. You know, we've got so much news to go through today, friends. Hex is up 20%. Oh man, we're just getting started, baby dolls. We've got a lot to go through. And we're going to start with that macro stuff. This is exactly why I told you, eh, it'll sort itself out. I told you, friends. Bulls sound peanut brain retarded. They do. They sound naive. They sound gullible. But they are rich. Bulls make money. It's the bears who sound smart. It's the guy telling you why you shouldn't try for that thing. Don't start up that business. Don't go talk to that girl. Don't go try achieve your dream. Something bad's going to happen. Those people are always poor. You see that? This is the unemployment rate data. Look at that. It came 4.1%. And they were expecting only 144,000 jobs. They got 254. Now, when this happened, friends, immediately you get people coming out who, like, they try to use my talking points back on me. And they said, the data is manipulated. They keep revising it down. It doesn't matter, dude. We know that. I know that. I've been talking about that for literally years and years and years. It's fake. Okay, they massage anything they want. It doesn't matter. They're printing money. That's what's not fake. They are printing money. That's it. Unequivocal fact. Even in 2022, when they said the money, money supply rate went down, load of BS, when they said interest rates are going up, all of it's a load of BS. They were still printing money. They were just changing the timing of it. They wanted retail to feel pain so people would stop spending and they would start to respect the currency they were throwing away from 2021. And it's exactly what happened. You get to see, friends, the masses are easily manipulated. Where to from here? Here is the Bitcoin monthly candle. You can see this, friends, it's smaller and smaller and smaller. This is for October. People were saying Floptober. If you remember my Juicy News episode yesterday, friends, at the very end, I left like the nice surprise. I read out tweets about Floptober, it's never going to go up, you all got wrecked, you all got trapped, and then surprise, surprise, at the end, I revealed, oh, they were 2023 October comments. Bitcoin, friends, you can just, just look at 2023 October was, man. It started off for $27,000, and it literally just, gave, like, you, six green monthly candles in a row. You could not be more wrong than being wrong at that moment. Now, whenever this data comes out, friends, if you're looking at the tether market cap and global liquidity and this ticky ticky, when you're looking at it, it's hard to really see what is the macro actual, what's the macro opinion on what's going on. And the answer you're looking for is always buried in this chart. You want to look at what the market really thinks? It's this, okay? Here is the two-year two US government bond yield. I have a weekly chart here. So on that data, look what happened. It went from 3.5% deal. So this is the basically what it expects the interest rate to be in two years. And the US Fed follows this, by the way. Okay, it's like a secret of macro, the secret. Okay, now, it was 3.5%. You see this down here on the far right? 3.5%. Look what it moved up to, nearly 4%. Basically, they erased two cuts. That's why, man, markets are a moving target. You know, you, if you're sitting on the sidelines and you're just new to markets, you go, wait a minute. If they erased two cuts, that's bad because they're not going to cut that much. No, it's the expectations. It's because they were only expecting those cuts because the economy was starting to crack. That's why the market prices it in. And then a data point comes out and it starts to price these things the other way. <laughs> 
But actually, it's bigger than that. They, they get all the expectations from all the surveys and everything else. Out. You can't just use one data point. This is the stock market, the cheat mode index. I mean, look at this, friends. This is really, this is coiling up to the top. I mean, this is absolutely wild to see that this thing is going up and up and up and up. I have a fantastic chart, friends. I wish I could find it here for you. I probably, I actually want to show this to you. And I've just spent some time finding it now. I've defense, I'm telling you right now, this post of mine has the least likes. It's only got 37, okay? It only has 37 here. And it, this is the deepest alpha post that you need. This is your bullish conviction, okay? Look at this. This compares the stock market current rally that we're witnessing right now, and it compares it to the tech stock rally, which is right here, you see? So this has about one and a half years to go, which is spooky. Now, here's the thing, okay? This could be a trap. Of course, it's always a trap, because what what do people always do? When when anything is going on for a long time, or any in many time, people go, hey, the longest one went for like, you know, 20 years, so we can keep going up. Just like, you know, if you got a coin up, you're like, oh, it doesn't matter we went up a thousand X in a year because Bitcoin went up a million X that one time. See, that's what people basically latch on to. Any reason to hold on. But this starts from 1982 and it ends in 1999. That was the tech, that's a tech stock run. And it goes on for a long time, friends. And this is, this is basically what happens, okay? There's a bull market from 1982 to 1990. Okay, so there's meant to be a bull market. It's meant to have a big recession. Now, what actually happens is this is spooky because it happened now. America had like a GDP recession. It slowed down in the early 90s. I think in 1991, maybe there was like an oil spike, maybe Kuwait, there was Saddam Hussein days. Something happened, okay? There was basically a hiccup. And around here, the economy bounced back. So it's, a light, it's a, the lighter line, okay? The economy bounced back. Why? It's because of the internet. The internet saved the economy from the recession and it bought it another like seven years. You got like a double bull market. So in 1982, it was meant to be all over in eight years. And then you had tech stocks. You had Microsoft ended up doing its 600X rally and IBM. And we're talking through the internet right now. So that changed our lives a bit, didn't it? Well, what's happening right now? Well, what people believe is, right, people like Ray Dalio and others, is what we're witnessing right now and only is going, only going to become apparent in like the next few years is we're witnessing an AI run. So artificial intelligence, people can believe that the, the amount of uh, solutions it's providing out here is going like a hyper warp speed. It's going so fast. It's mega deflationary in terms of it's just like removing workers left, right, and center exponentially. And it's going to really boost GDP. And you, you got to open your mind, fans, what it's like. Because you remember in crypto, we're all based off Netcalf's law, right, with network effects. Well, um, AI, you can make infinite units. It's infinite human knowledge. So if you, if you have like these millions of AI bots, uh, how do they even generate money? How do they generate revenue? But once we're able to do that, we have like internet bots. We have like entities on the internet and then they'll eventually be real built, be real robots. Um, they, they will outnumber humans because they can just replicate themselves and then we don't actually need to work. That's actually the long, 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 long distance of how these things turn out. But for the main part, okay, it will be, uh, look, this would be crazy if, the stock market runs, so you got about a year and a half left. Okay, that that would be wild, man. Can you believe? Uh, just imagine those odds, man. Imagine we run up until around the end of next year ish to 2026, whatever it is, and then basically, oh, now we've had our big 17 to 20 year bull run, which is what we've had since 2008. That'd be a while that happens, and then basically, you get like the big, you know, there'll be a recession of some sorts, things correct. Uh, and then, uh, yes, we, we move on from there. So th that's why this thing is really, really important to understand because a lot of people are saying the bull market's gone on for too long. But as I've just showed you right now, actually, if the market's wrong and AI really is about to accelerate productivity, right, that's what's coming in the future. And of course, the, the stock market S&P 500 is big daddy of crypto, and that's why it's most important. Now, still waiting for Mr. Russell 2000, friends. We cover this every day. This is the daily chart, Mr. Russell 2000. We need Mr. Russell to just coil up and go and take take its time through this area and basically just go, wee, take your time, take your time, right? Don't do any vicious spikes. Just keep grinding, grinding, and that's what we want. It needs to go above 244. That is the total expansion price. That'll be a new all-time high. That's the final piece of the puzzle. Now, check this out. Believe in something. You've seen this before. You're going to keep seeing it again. That is the mantra of this cycle, friends. Of course, believe in something. And I know I could split we're going to have some fun.
We're all gonna make it. We are all gonna make it. When it comes to believing in something, friends, it's not just about the price going up in that moment. It is about the minus 90% or worse crashes when you're literally, your back's against the wall and you're thinking, hmm, how the hell did I end up here? <laughs> That's what it actually comes down to, okay? I have this picture here. This is me. You've seen this face before. And I've written POV. You're a little bitch who didn't think minus 99% hex was cheap enough. So now you are watching a billionaire pump his bag. Let me just show you the hex price chart. And it's going to be something to witness. I mean, like, this is this is this is nice. Look at this. Literally just straight up only. Bang, 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 bang. Now, what's actually going on, friends? Apparently, there's been some wallet, wallet analysis. Everyone says it's it's uh, legit and everything is uh pretty much, you know, it, it's organic and stuff. But I don't know how I've got the green candle picture here for you. I've written a post here. In hindsight, it might all look obvious. Richard Hart's lawyers will probably say this, what I'm about to tell you, on October 31st. Your Honor, Auntie Judge Carroll, Hex has appreciated in price by 500% in the lead up to this court meeting in the past four weeks alone. How good does that look, by the way, to a judge? You're like, hey, you got the wiener kid, remember? The wiener kid, like, oh, you lost 400 bucks. And you got all these other people saying, you all got scammed. What do you mean scam? This thing went up 500% in a month. It's interesting to think about. Is it conspiracy? A lot of people, people don't, don't concern yourself too much with who's moving it or whatever, friends. It doesn't matter, okay? The fact that there is conspiracy means it's bullish. That's what you actually want. Doesn't doesn't matter if, oh, is it Richard or is it organic? Who the hell cares, dude? Does, it doesn't actually really come down to anything. All that matters is people are talking about it, okay? That is the megaphone working. That's what you want to see. Now, the whole pulse chain ecosystem has enjoyed a nice green for the past 24 hours. And look at this green, 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 green. You got a new Charmander coin here, Meowth as well. So you got Hex as well. Hex, Erection Hex, Protein, Pulse Chain Hex. You have all these ink with the greenest logos. But look, uh, fun times are coming ahead, friends. Already, we are seeing ratio traders. They're just, oh, man. Well, look, we need these people because they're going to fuel higher pumps. What they're actually doing is people have up here, they have sold, okay, they've sold their ink Pulse Pulse X to come buy the top of Hexy because it's moving, okay? They've come and done that. Now, you you we need them, but of course you shouldn't do them. We need them, why? They are reflexive momentum traders and they will be taxed into oblivion with their crappy trading because we know trading's PvP, right? And they're going to be acting as more buy and burn stuff and they're going to be fueling the rallies. That's what's going to happen. Uh, do you remember, friends, I, I think I mentioned to it yesterday as well, like you could just j just imagine this world. You are Richard in the background. You're a puppet master string. You move one coin up 10x. Everyone sells these other coins and goes moves that up. All the buy and burn volume gets done <laughs> in a bull market. And then that slows down and then ink starts going up and they move from that to that. You see how you can get into a mess, but you have every you have every opportunity not to trade like that. You're not meant to do that. Hold the coins, do pulse X yield farming, do hex staking, just don't touch them, man. Just, just do anything but touch them because I know people are going to get it wrong. And look, what I'm going to do now, friends, I've got to play for you some nice... I'm going to play some nice groovy guitar beats because the time has finally come, baby dolls. Look at these sells. Look at these buy. Okay, I'm not making this up. Not making this up, Okay. Uh, I've just I've got to show you again. Okay, just so you don't see. You see this red? This is this guy selling. He sold like one hundred twenty thousand dollars worth. Sell, sell, sell. But buys back in. Look at his clip. He buys back eighty thousand dollars, eighty eighty six thousand dollars. So people are actively trading, and everything I said would happen is now happening. As as we all know, friends. People, people I'm just telling you now, man. What people do is that they don't actually do what I do. They go, oh, I think this thing is worth. This much in a bull market plus, so whatever the hell the range is, who cares? It's mega cheap now, okay? It doesn't even matter what I think. I go, I know, I buy cheap. Cheap is cheap. I hold cheap. I want leverage exposure on cheap. I want everything around cheap, okay? They're not actually doing that. What they're actually doing is they get in because everyone thinks it's feeling good right now, and then when it starts to feel bad, they look around and go, hmm, I don't feel bad. I have to act on my emotion. 
Let me go click sell. Let me go look at other stuff. So they're not they're not investing or valuing things based off their real value. Okay, they're doing it based off emotion. That's how you get actions like this. Unfortunately, this person now has to buy back less. So for one point seven cents, actually you can actually see it's even worse now. So I'm just just want to show you, and this is how dangerous it is. Okay, so this guy. Okay, look, he already. I mean, this is a, this is a tiny, tiny, tiny move. Look at this. He sold at what, like one point three cents down here. So he is already twenty six percent down. So if he tries to buy back all these coins, he's lost twenty six percent of his whole stack, his whole freaking stack already. He needs it to come back down. He's begging for it to come back down, so we can buy it back. He's like, oh, I sold 10 million hex here. Yeah, he can only buy back 7.5 million. He can't get back his 10 million hex. Trust me, if hex is a dollar, he's going to be doing those numbers in his head. Saying, why did I trade? Why, why, why? Why can't I just hold? Why? Well, look, man, we've, we've given you every single chance in the world to look at this chart. Friends. Look how many levels I have here. What the, bro, what the hell are you doing if you are selling anything down here? There is literally, there's nothing here. You're selling with junk. If you click sell here, you're junk, dude. You're literally junk. Why are you exiting Richard Hart ecosystem down here? Look at all these levels. Pulse Chain launch, five cents. Testnet version three launch, 12 cents. Look at this. Pulse X sacrifice price was 12, 25 cents. Hex movie Mikey, uh, 41 cents. Friends, just look, okay. What I might tell you now, it's gonna come across a bit racist if you're a bear, okay? But I'm just telling you this. Richard watched the movie. He knows Hex Movie Mikey is long from 41 cents. He's got a billion dollars, all right? If you had a billion dollars, wouldn't you send it there to send a message, huh? Wouldn't you? Would you not send it there just to send a message? I think you would. Okay, now, before the court date, you might have said, oh, well, it's conspiracy. Maybe it doesn't happen. Um, do you know what this vertical line is, Habibi? This is the court date. Okay, you think it, do you honestly think, you want to sit here and tell me, look at this, look at this, I'm putting on the daily chart. Do you think this is a coincidence that this thing is going up only to the right into the court date? Do you think it's a coincidence? I'm just telling you, man, that you are, you are doing yourself a disservice to fade the strongest cult in crypto. 99% down couldn't kill it. What makes you think you wishing bad stuff is going to kill it? And look, it was already foretold, friends, the prophecy. Look at this, look at this. Okay, actually, I'm going to show you, show you a clip here from my friend Aaron, who does wonderful and wonderful clippings here, okay? Just catch. Let's go. X will have a disbelief rally. The Pulse Chain Phoenix will rise from the ashes. For the greatest repricing we will ever lay eyes on. The disco ball comes down and it will just rain money and coins on them. <laughs> Ching, 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 ching. All these coins just raining on. Just cash. Just cash. See that? The disbelief rally. We're literally watching it right now. Disbelief, friends. What's disbelief? First, you're hated. You're ugly. No one likes you because you're all the way down. What's a disbelief rally? This relief rally is you go from hate to dislike. Okay? So hate is like, you don't exist to me. I don't want to touch you. Okay? You're so, so low. The dislike move is disbelief in terms of it's moving up and you're all still fading it. Okay, we saw this happen in Bitcoin when Bitcoin went from 15k to 25k. It was a disbelief pump. Why was it a disbelief? Everyone was saying the economy is about to go in recession. Interest rates are too high. Why is Bitcoin going up? I don't believe it. That's what they were saying. Okay, what are they saying now? They're saying, oh, Richard Hart, the fat dude twerking in a Gucci suit. He's got a court date, and I've been told he's a scammer. And this cult of his uh, don't exist. Don't know how you can trick yourself of that one. They're like, oh, I don't believe this thing can go up. Well, we have mathematical formulas to tell you, dude, you don't need that much money inserted to make these things reprice higher. I mean, friends, look what I was writing here. Unironically, the most, most hardcore cult is ready to take this minus 99.8% all the way back turbo. There is simply no reasoning with the most rabid cult of all time. This is literally at the lows months ago. Just saying, I was replying to Damo, okay? Damo, he retweeted something. This is from the Hex movie. This is from an airport. You're in the airplane. They're talking about the Hex movie. Look at this. Hex will have a disbelief rally, right? Disbelief rally. The Pulse Chain Phoenix will rise from the ashes and 170,000 ETH will deploy for the greatest repricing we'll ever lay our eyes on. That has not happened yet. We're just in the disbelief rally part. 
And it will come to Pulse Chain and Pulse X and Inc. Even Ehex, man. They're all, they're all going to have their day. They're all going to have their day. Own all of them. You're not going to look, you're not going to be able to time these ratios and stuff. I know that because I'm re already seeing people. Like there's one guy today, he dumped 100, 500 grand of ink and he just bought the top of Hex, right? Now, it could keep going. It's probably not the top. He could keep going. But I'm just telling you, in these short times of like uh, short momentum swings and, and shifts out here, you're risking too much, dude. You're literally risking. I know what's going to happen, man. You know, I know what's going to happen. You're not respecting your Hex or your ink because of the prices today. But if I put, if I put ink at 100 bucks, if I put hex at one dollar, you see, when we start, because you should listen, Johnny Chaos talks about that as well. He when he when he when, we, when he talks about all these people dumping millions and millions and millions of hex down here, he's basically he's saying these people like forgive them, they don't know what they're selling, dude. Like like you're not smart if you're selling eight thousand bitcoin back when it was eight cents, and their people were. There were guys dumping ten thousand, eight thousand bitcoin because it's just eight cents each, right? Like they don't know. He goes, he goes. The way to think about this stuff, it's very true how Johnny talks about it. He's like. Think about this thing as worth a dollar. Like price it at a dollar in your mind already. Are you still going to behave like that? You wouldn't. You wouldn't behave like that. See? Also, I want to take a special shout out, friends, to cults. So speaking of Hex, cult, there are other cults in crypto as well. Corridanzo. I love Corridanzo. XRP is like a white to like a white collar cult, okay? You know, like lawyers and, and, and suits and ties and stuff. There are cults in crypto around, okay? Um, they come in different flavors. If I'm here going hardcore, which is balls deeper in crypto, I don't want to feel good. I want the deepest value, the most contrarian, the most hated, the one with the most upside. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for, oh, wow, Cardanzo, you're in your third cycle now and you've been around, friends. They don't call Cardano a cult anymore. Do you know that? Because it's respected for being in the third cycle now. Okay? That's how bankless talk about it. They're like, oh, do you remember the, the Cardano thing from three years ago? That's how they talk about it now. Okay, one day Hex and Pulse Chain will be like that. That's how you know you're early. They're not like that yet. You see that? People also say, say the same thing about the uh, the XRP army. Okay, it was a cult back then. Now it's like, oh, yeah, I guess I guess they're just they're there for whatever reason, right? This is, look at this. Every time, and this is actually hilarious. Every time Ivan on Tech mentions Cardanzo, okay, he always gets people in the chat yelling about, please talk about the Cardano. And he calls them the Cardano manlets. So this is them having some party time. Shout out to Mr. Woofy for posting this gem in our Telegram. This is the type of high alpha content we see in our Telegram discussion fence, type of stuff we're looking at. So obviously Cardano manlets are having some fun there. But look, I love Cardano. I had Cardano last cycle. I'm just telling you now, bro, your third cycle. Okay, you are the third cycle. You are, you're more known. There's, there's ways, like daily active users, there's, there's more like, there's more formulas to place on you now. And that's okay for some people, you know. Not, not, there, are, there are people, they have like three years of life savings in Cardanzo, okay? And the Cardanzo, if it gives them a 6X, sweet, you got 18 years, bro. You can, you're like, you're done. You could be done. You're just a 6X. I know everything's correlated, and I know I only got one shot at this in terms of we got one cycle, okay? One, you don't, you don't get to like, hey, I took this bet for a year and didn't work out. Let me go move on to something else. See, crypto, there's pros and there's cons. You don't get a chance to rewind, okay? You have to think about like, would you have regrets? Yes. If, oh, <laughs> I answered the question, I'll tell you what I was thinking about. Would you have regrets if it turns out your friend Sommy's theories and thesis and framework about cults and communities and memes, if they all play out to the fullest extent uh, and you chose blue chip safer stuff because you're like, you're a little, you're fragile and you just don't understand what's going on and you're too scared of what people think of you, would you regret it if they went really, really far? Yes, absolutely. Because at the end of the day, the calendar still ticks over for everybody else. Eventually we all land in like December 2025. We all land there. Okay, and all your pain, all the misery, they all get erased, man. No one cares. All one cares. When Doge was 250x up after Elon was shilling, okay, all the pain about Dogecoin being a useless currency was gone. No one, no one, no one remembered it. No one cared about it. Oh, what about that pain? No one cares about that pain anymore. You see, it changes. So if Hex is back at 50 cents, if Hex is at a dollar, if, if Hex is back at 41 cents, Hex movie Mikey price, the Richard Hart. You're a Ponzi scammer and uh, is a grifter and your value extract, all these like baseless claims, which we all thought were true at the start, they get erased, man. People are just yelling about a 45 cent price because everyone's 
like seen value growth and everyone's more rich now and there's an ecosystem here. It just gets erased, friends. The market keeps moving forward. So this type of memory erasing is very useful because it turns people from mega fear to mega euphoria. But it's, it's problematic if you play with that, okay? But if you're buying in the fear and you're holding through the fear fence, holding is the same as buying, then you get to benefit that greatly. Remember, Pulse Chain is a blue ocean area fence. Look at all these beautiful meme coins that are on Pulse Chain. This is just a start of them. There are so many others here, okay? So you have the ecosystem going up. You have Princess Peach, Incentive Token. You have this Luigi's. There's so many other ones out here, man. Pico on Pulse Chain, we should have a quick look at as well. There's, there's just, it's it's so much cooler, man. It's just cooler. Like, it, he's, look, whether you think something's cool or not, just put it on the site. It's hard. I'm here 18 hours a day. I can tell whether something's cool or not, okay? Uh, just like friends, you know, watch Simon Cowell or someone else on the X Factor or singing. They have like a, they have a knack. They're like, oh yeah, that person's going to take it like really far. Like they can see something because they've just seen it a thousand times. I can see that with coins uh, and communities. The thing with it though is if you weren't here 18 hours a day, I don't know if you could. So you have the advantage of just realizing, oh, you're a cheap price. You're a cheap price. That's it. If you're cheap, friends, all your problems get solved. You know that, right? You know when you're expensive, you have to be right. So go back to 2021. Uh, if you bought an expensive coin in the top 500, uh, 500, yeah, top 500, you only had a 1% chance of the altcoin coming back. Remember, you had Binance, BNB, you had Soilana, you had Injective, you had Fletch, Fetch, F-E-T, and then you had Floki. If you bought high, a uh, high altcoin, you had a 1%, that's 5 out of 500. You see, everything else is still down. You see that? So we're not at those prices out now. But if Pepe's 100 billion, literally 100 billion, and Doge and Shiba 100 billion, and meme coins and everything, and Pulse chains up like 50 or 100x, I hope they are, I'll be saying stuff like, hey, um, I don't want you to like, you know, abandon crypto or anything, but head yourself against what happened last time. There was only a 1 in 100 chance that you were on the right coin that recovered first. So grab some Bitcoin, grab some Ethereum, have some stable coins, okay? Take some profit out. That's why, friends, I've told you, hey, get a Jeet stack. Just get a Jeet stack, okay? But we'll be speaking about this more later on. This is Pika on Pulse Chain, friends, doing beautiful things. This is the, I'm going to change to the Pika to Pulse ratio. So, friends, this is the speed of the poker chain ecosystem. So there's a poker center going on here, and they're just building and fleshing it out. Remember, friends, I didn't start this. I, honestly, I don't know who everyone is. I have no idea who these people are. But just look, I love everybody. Just everyone's anonymous faces. Everyone's starting. Um, everyone's like, okay, we, we just, we're seeing what happens, man. This is just how the market's organizing themselves. And it's like, why I even believe in it? I'm going to play some nice uh, Pikachu. Let's play some nice Cranky G. Pikachu music. If you're curious, why do I even why do I even have my my the vision and effort and energy even looking out for these things? It's because I know there are more people in crypto who have no idea how to touch code or build code versus the people who do know how to do code stuff. I know the ratio is like 99 to 1. Okay? I don't know how to do code, I don't know what to do. Okay, I know literally 99 to 1. 100 people in a room, one guy knows how to do code and teching stuff and white paper and math more formulas, and 99 people don't. So I thought, this is part of my meme coin thesis, friends, and the cults and everything. I thought, well, what do those 99 people know how to do? Make friends. Okay? They know how to make friends. They know how to form communities. They're doing it on Facebook. There's community pages. There's groups. There's fans. People are building brands. They can make characters and stories. You see, they know how to do that. So I thought logically over some time of thinking about it, I go, well, surely all those people and all their efforts and their energy will be spending so much time adopting people that it just makes sense that people coming in are going to hear about all those new active community things instead of the hot new tech coin, the hot new tech thing. Because they don't even understand that tech. They don't understand. You see, that that's where we're heading, friends. That's why, look, see, I, I, when I'm saying that, I'm literally a deep contrarian, like a uh, retardio peanut brain. Now you can start to see there's a momentum shift. Now you're like, oh, that makes sense. Why is it making sense, friends? Because you're seeing meme coin after meme coin after meme coin start to pop up. Okay. That's why it's making sense. 
By the way, uh, price targets, friends, I have no idea how high things will go. If you want to ask for a price target, so remember, 90% of the coins are burned, locked, they're taken away forever. So it's 5 million market cap for Pika. And there's so many others as well, friends. Like uh, Dick with Butt as well has recovered. It's actually beautiful. And Princess Peach, I'll just show you all these out here. I mean, there's so many nice things. You have DWB right now as well. There's so many, so many of these, but asking how high they can go. I just everyone just how did x thousand x just whatever number but they are dependent upon the speed that's it we need pulse to keep gaining over time that's it you know so if you tell me in the future pulse chain is eight billion right i'll have okay maybe the coins like that's still a long way away i mean that's that's a 10x from here friends so all these coins are uh, any, like your lotteries are anywhere from like you know 20 to 100x that, that's why it's scary how big these things can grow Okay, that's Pulse Chain up 10x. Okay, but you, remember, are we adding up Pulse, Pulse X, EXP, Inc? A topic for another debate. Okay, but what if you triple that again? Oh my God, we're do, these numbers are just too big. Just, I'm, I'm scared how big these numbers get because you know, you know what happens. Like, okay, Pulse goes up, it's a spear. If it goes up 10x, okay, yes, there are a lot of losers and coins that get abandoned, but the winning coins, man, the winning altcoins with loud megaphones, they're going to repeat what happened on Soilana. Friends, like, here I am, it's funny. Someone said to me, when um, uh, I saw it on Twitter, they're like, Sami, I don't think the Pulse Chain altcoins can do a 100x. And I'm thinking, dude, firstly, PDI already did a 5,000x, and it is an unbacked stable coin. <laughs> so that's out the window. That's number one. Number two, okay, uh, Dog We've Hat literally did a 40,000x. And, and there are now 20 Soilana meme coins. They all started at like 100K market cap, 500K. And now they're up to like a couple of hundred million. So they're all up a thousand X. So there's, there's 10 coins on Soilana that have done thousand X, 10 to win thousand. Now here's the problem though. They have a cabal. All those coins had a cabal. And there's too many eyeballs on it. So even the coins that didn't have a cabal, so many people participated that it went up too fast anyway. Okay, that's the problem. Let me show you, okay? This is a daily chart. This is PopCat. You see PopCat, friends? It launches in one, two, three days. Okay, by the way, this is Soilana in December 2023. Okay, so this is still, Soilana has not even had big, big, big moves yet. It had a big move, but not like, it hadn't hit mainstream 2024 style yet. I'm just showing you because there's so many eyeballs. Look at this. Within the first, look at that. After 10 days, man, this thing's 47 million market cap. 10 days. You're like, what? 10, the, the 10 days are gone. Okay. Because there's so many eyeballs. They they price these things faster, friends, more aggressive. So, yes, if you're right and you're inside, you're in, on the inside cabal, remember, cabal is not just a bad term, friends. Cabal is these people know they're going to keep shitting it and influencing it and they're not going to dump tokens and abandon in 30 days. Okay. So they have an advantage, right? That you, you and I don't get told that. Otherwise, I'd love to get in. I'd love to get in and go turbo hard. So you don't get that advantage. However, in Pulse Chain, we're not dealing with 1 million daily active users who are looking at these coins, okay? In Pulse Chain, you don't have that at all, friends. You have something here like Princess Peach at 827K market cap still sitting down here after all, this is the daily chart as well. Look at that, 827. You see this? So, but here's the thing, okay? The money is not in like identifying this. The money is in getting the switch. Now, that's why. And the thesis is, okay, you got to sacrifice wallet with Richard Hart. You got him returning to glory. You've got Ethereum has to pump up. We have 170 content creators. That's how you know, friends. Oh wow! Now it increases the probability that we are on the right path because you have friends. You have anywhere from Hex Maxis, Pulse Maxis. You have Corey and Dane. They're recruiting real estate people. You have me in the UFO community. You have Brandon and everyone else talking. It's just so many different avenues out here. It's just a matter of time. That's what I'm saying. It just feels like it's a matter of time. Okay, it doesn't happen overnight, but you don't want it to happen overnight, man, because these overnight things, you, you don't want to go from cheap to expensive super fast because then it's all over. It's PVP because the cheap guys were cabal insider guys who basically got in or just fluked it, okay? There's no like, like how can you even like decide, okay, this thing is coming out. I'm going to put, you know, like um 10% of my stack in. You can't even have time to think about that. And by the way, people do that and they screw it up badly.
I mean, look at these pulse chain. Look at these fundamentals, for example, okay? 140 content creators, 68 streamers, okay? So it's actually more. It's up to 170 content creators, 70 streamers. Best Pokemon team, survived 99% down, less than one year old, 2,000x cheaper than Ethereum. You see that now? Obviously, it's more than one year old now, but just, just showing you these strong, strong, strong fundamentals going for it. It just takes time. That's it. And, um, and... And uh, you'd have to convince anyone. Like, I don't really care. I know if the price chart sells itself eventually coming on. But that's when people will notice when the price chart is green. Check this out as well, friends. Crypto crapo is bullish. Wrong is actually bearish. Okay, crypto crapo, friends. I've increased my hedge position here. There are some similarities to the pre-COVID crash consolidation. Stay safe. By the way, this was before the US jobs data. Okay, before the US jobs are, I ink, that's funny. I increased my hedge position. You know what that means? It means I shorted more or I just liquidated more. Okay, so Crapo being bearish is extremely important. It's like still bearish because the guy's always talking about it, but his, his network effects keeps going up. So I wanted to show you something as well. This gentle friend, Cient, Skient, he, he wrote about Crypto Crapo out here. Now, obviously, it's Crapo because he blocked me because I called him out. I'm like, dude, you've made like so many. So many dangerously long leverage calls in the bear market and stuff, and also wrong calls. Look at this. Skiing. In case you didn't know, Crypto Crapo is a serial paid shiller. All of 2020 to 2021, every altcoin TA post he made was a paid shill. IDO, ICOs, you name a poop coin. He keeps adding to his short positions from 15K to 60K Bitcoin. He started longing from 65K to all time high. We remember that as well. Remember, friends, when we hit everyone we believed in left translated cycle, and we're like, uh oh, uh, Crapo is finally bullish right now. It's funny, friends. What I told you a year ago, I go, we're probably going to go up until we get Crapo bullish. And it's exactly what we did. Now, I don't do specific trades on that, but it's nice to flex the muscle on reading the crown, right? Look what else he has. Crypto Crapo keeps adding to altcoin longs on 60 to 70% correction. So yes, they're down 10% from the high. He just keeps adding like on leverage on the way down. So it's just... It's just horrific, right? He flips bearish at the lows. Again, I've been saying it for two years. He's a paid... Paid to trap retail. So, yeah, it is confirmed as well. He's on the Polkadot Treasury. He is on the Polkadot Treasury. God knows. Like, bro, Polkadot Treasury. Honestly, I'm not telling you. Being serious. You guys should literally pay me whatever the hell you're paying him. Firstly, you got to triple it. They're paying him like four to eight grand a month. Something ridiculous. He doesn't even shill you guys. My gosh, that Treasury is going to be like, I'm very bearish on Polkadot. You guys are just blowing money like nothing. Like, I like Richard Hart. He's like tight. He won't spend money on anything. Polkadot spending money on everything. Okay. So Richard Hart doesn't want to touch uh, money that is going to get wasted, especially during a bear market. And Polkadot is just blowing it, man. So just showing you, like, you need you need business acumen to, to live through these as well. So that's why it's hard for retail friends. They have to navigate that. And as well, look what else they have to navigate. They have to navigate. Igon Layer said, we are investigating unapproved selling activity associated with this wallet. So what happened was there's an inside job, okay? Not surprised. The Igon layer token liquidity was assumingly funded from the millions in crypto stolen from Uwu Lend just three months prior, considering their direct link to it. I hope people didn't expect them to not immediately wash those stolen funds as soon as retail was sucked in. Welcome to crypto. If so, this is unfortunately the way it's run. So look at this. I'm also going to prove who was behind this Lend exploit and assuming it's 0x Sifu and their team doesn't hold up to their end, paying out a $5 million bounty, we will pursue legal action as well as reveal every address. But this is, look where it gets very, very suspicious, Fence. Look at this. Check this out. This is just, look at this. By the way, we already revealed it was Igon Layer's team led by Calvin Liu that was involved in the exploit. We just haven't shown the proof yet. We were told Sifu was too busy to talk to us about the identity of who it was that stole over $20 million for it, in which he offered a $5 million bounty. Make that make sense. Of course, friends. So it's just implying very, very nice. I've got to spell it out for everyone. So you stole money from someone's vault. You stole $20 million. And then someone found fingerprint evidence. DNA evidence, just like how Richard Hart is um, the brother of Shane Hart as well, DNA can evidence. So they found DNA evidence that you were the thief, okay? And then you go to that DNA evidence guy and go, hey, I can't speak to you right now, but I have a $5 million gift for you as an apology because I can't speak to you. So obviously, something is there. You don't just hand out $5 million for nothing, okay? So 
this is what they've done, man. This is this is the rest of crypto, man. Like, and yeah, it look like they're gonna, probably going to be all right, but do you, do you see now, man? It's just meme coins don't have that. Meme coins, when meme coins go down, everyone says insiders, cabal, gambling, degeneracy. That's what they say. You know it. You know. But when these other projects do rugging and stuff like that, it stings because they don't have high-risk appetite people. They have people who thought, wait a minute, this thing is programmed to go up, and it doesn't. You have this type of stuff going on in the background. I hope we have a nice resolution for everyone here in crypto going on, but now you can get to see the point, right? And like I said, it's just, I couldn't have said it better than this. Someone comes into crypto, it's all a scam. Now, do they buy the cheap scam or the expensive scam? Which one? Which one are they going to choose? Hmm. Well, it's probably the cheap scam because the cheap scam will go up and have green candles, and it will just act as a louder megaphone and a signal for them to keep looking at it. That's probably meme coins, right? So obviously that's why I'm being very neutral and saying, oh, they're all scams. They're all scams, you see? Okay, you want to have a nihilistic view, they're all scams? All right, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you think. It just matters what the market participants are going to choose. And that, my friends, is why we are bringing ourselves a step closer to seeing a $100 billion meme coin one day. Hopefully it's this cycle. Boy, oh boy, that's going to be fun. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, or catch you in the next one.